go wall them, but I'll be down to like walk right. in and right. explain the task. All right. Okay. All right. Keeping it Cleveland. All right. Today we kind of told you guys what we're doing today. So Tony does, which you'll explain in a minute what that is. He's gonna go to Chinatown, make a video of that. Um, I like to run down things still. Also, we have the comedy thing. It's gonna be 10 minutes max. I think we have the place for an hour. Um, and then I just mix in like what you did with uh, Double Walk of Dawn, a video of anything. It can be a rant, it can be what he did, it can be whatever you want. So that's kind of what we're doing today. Uh, Tony, do you want to explain? So first off, if I offered you guys a red pill or a blue pill, which one would you take? Red. Red. I go blue. The answer is you probably shouldn't take pills from a <laughs> random stranger. All right, so that's first lesson of the day. Next up, if you don't know how to get weird, you're not going to last a nanosecond at this company. So I hope some of you guys have seen my Whoa well, That's Weird franchise. So your task today is you guys need to go out in New York City. It doesn't have to be in Chinatown. And you need to film a Whoa That's Weird. Pretty much you go out and find something weird and make a video about it. There should be three things we're getting today. Personal video, which can be any, anything. Okay. You have one video that's just whatever you guys want to do. Um, one was weird, and then the rundown. Got it. Uh, it's the rundown, August 15th, day three of Barstool Idol, uh, down to the Elite Eight. It's also National Relaxation Day. I would say us four are feeling pretty calm and collected right now. I'd say so. Uh, someone is definitely not. Yo. Uh, <laughs> Wake up. Hey, let's go. Let's go. go. Rundown time. We got the rundown. Cool relaxing. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Here we go. It's the rundown. We're going to jump right into it because fuck the Cubs. They screwed me last night. Yeah. They screwed me too eating fucking nine hot dogs and they didn't get a goddamn hit. Give me no time between innings. Yeah. Seven nothing. Tough of the mush. But during that game, Zobris freaked out. All time. Freaked out on the umpire in his post game interview and goes, we need electronic umpires. What do you guys think? I fucking love the move. I'm all in on electronic umpires. I think these guys are fucking old, right? They're 60, they're 70 years old. They're old men. The first sign of aging is losing your vision. And we have guys who cannot see scientifically judging 95 mile per hour balls on balls and strikes and the, the inches and the centimeters off the plate. They need to get the fuck out of there. Top story of the day, 20 escaped goats found grazing in Brooklyn this morning after they left their trailer at 4 a.m. <laughs> grazing on the side of the road, uh, celebrating National Relaxation Day a little early, I'd say. What you guys got? Yeah, grazing is also a synonym for relaxation. Very ironic, that's why we chose the topic. I just think it, it's, just, it's not gonna do anything good for baseball, it's not gonna make it more fun to watch. You know, if it was like maybe some artificial intelligence that there was a chance for it to like go rogue or some shit. It's not gonna be as fun. Those human errors make the, the ball game way more exciting. Think about the perfect game guy. That's how we got reviewed to start because the dude threw a perfect game and we, he didn't even get it back. That guy does not have a perfect game. He'll yeah, never but you're talking back. about it right now. It's still relevant because that guy fucked up. In Wyoming where I'm from, I know a guy that owns a goat business where he takes goats. Instead of using a lawnmower, he just drops off like 20 goats and that's how he mows his lawn. That can't you be never, a clean cut though. Well, yeah, it's probably. Goats are just, yeah. It's, it's not gonna be out outfield designs on there. Not the greens at Augusta or anything. Yeah. We don't need, we need umpires. Old people getting mad is awesome because they think we're, they're getting disrespected because we're younger millennial shit For sure. saying that we need electronics and they go, sure, sure. And they like get upset. We need that. It'll speed the game up. It'll make it just fucking fair for everyone. I love the move personally. And the fucking insult Zobris had was money. Yeah. Just going up to an umpire and said, you deserve to be replaced by a fucking robot. Yeah, but I mean, we've dealt with crying a lot this week. Mm. It's fantastic to see in baseball when someone gets so upset about a ball this close off the plate. It's fucking awesome. We need old people in the game and we need freakouts. That's about it. That's the rundown. Uh, tomorrow is moving day, I would say, at Idol. So yeah. uh, see you guys tonight at 7 o'clock at the Comedy House. Truly, thank you. Thank you, uh, Barstool, for letting me be a viceroy. It's an incredible experience. I just don't think uh, this is the place for me. And yesterday was that didn't mean anything. You guys are gonna spin zone it, and you guys could have whatever takes that you want. Well, you never know what's walking.
What is going on? Are you? I've heard so many things about you today. It's been, heard, a, it's been a rough day. I heard you pulled Erica aside. You're like, I'm just losing my mind. I heard you talk to Frankie. You're like, I'm losing my mind. What is? Go- and now I'm like, it can't be that bad. And we're not even paying attention. And you're just fucking crying. Fate is one thing, and I. If there's a red pill, if there's a blue pill, I'm gonna take the blue pill. So you don't want to see it through. I mean, I, blue. You know, I'm trying to take the blue pill somewhere. What so. does that mean? I mean, you guys are gonna spin them. So. I, no, I, I don't know what the blue pill means. Me neither, honestly. I, I truly just being a viceroy was awesome. Barstool, you guys are absolutely dominating the game, and everyone knows that. Right, right now, I'm completely dialed up. Why, why, why are you leaving? I don't understand what happened between yesterday and today. Nothing happened. You said that yesterday was fate that you were here. I think it is. But you're walking, then you're walking away from fate. You're slapping fate in the face. Today we got autumn. You come, you, you shine bright, you burn, and then you're gone. No. What a feel. I, I appreciate you having me. You know, being a viceroy was awesome. Paul, thank you for... You know, just I mean, he had nothing but strong things to say about your work ethic, so yeah. you know, maybe just on camera is not the, not the, not I, the vibe for you. I think, I think on camera is the vibe for me. What do you mean you think on camera is the vibe for you? Then why are you quitting? It's what I'm made for. I'm not, I'm not quitting this, I'm just, this is where I, I'm trying to be on camera, and I'm trying to do things on camera, and I know where I belong. So hopefully it's here, but I want to be authentically me. The emotion was real. So then why, why are you leaving though if you want to be on camera? I just don't, maybe this isn't the place for me, maybe. Okay, all right, all right. well, thanks for coming in and good luck. Thank you, all thank right. you so much for yep. having me. I have some questions, can I start with some questions? First of all, Danny's Steven a good guy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say questions. he's the fastest, brightest burning star we've yeah, ever the had. Fast 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 fast. The fastest yeah. crash. Right. And we've had right. a lot of them who come shooting through the Barcelona sky, and he would, he was fast, bright, he, and burned I would, out. I would, quick. I would. How many times did he actually cry? A hundred. <laughs> well, the Unlimited main, the main cry. thing was the elimination. Where as it's as we were about to start, YP texted me. He's like, "Look at Michigan, man!" And I look up, and he's just. The credits start rolling. And, what and was then, the? Then did he, someone make we were, fun of him? No, or it was no. just the emotion. No, he, he, all day emotion. long, he's saying he was breaking. If he was if he was crying because I someone made fun of him. And it's like toughen up, but he's just like he's an emo. He wears his heart. He's like, on his this sleeve. is fate. No. I'm yeah. where no, I have no. to be. Listen, That's, I'm overwhelmed I like by that being move. here. I, I, then, I have. <laughs> at the end of the day, if we're being like literal about the contest, you can't work with that guy. He's a fucking lunatic. When he confronted me about getting rid of the yeah. girl, that was weird. Now that was I saw that clip. Lunacy. That was weird. That right. that went from you're uh, strange and emotional to like I think there's something. Why did Allie get eliminated? Because I didn't think that she would really be like. Electric on camera. I, th- I think she'd be great. Well, the good thing is I run this company and you're just trying to get a job. Prediction, he's someday going to fight in Rough and Rowdy. Yeah. As long put an as end to I madness. didn't think he was a legitimate threat to himself or to us, I would keep him right till the end because he was a content right. factor. Yo, it's A. Taylor Swag. I have to stand up tonight for the first time in New York. I don't really want to dress like this. It's kind of too casual. So we're going to go into a costume store and get a little weird. Let's see what we got. Spidey senses are tingling. Oh, wait, that's just my dick. I got a wedgie. Hang on. That is so fat. Naughty Spidey. Hey, Monster Taylor, crock you. <laughs> this is how, is how I look. So, yeah, I read online that pretty mantises have small penises. So I switched my animal and now I'm the big cock crock. And I'm ready to do stand up. I haven't had a real job in 20 years. I was a professional gambler and a stand-up comedian. So I don't really do, my resume is awful. And at work I just stand around all day. So I came to the conclusion maybe I could be a mannequin. All right, mannequin life. How am I doing? Do I look like a good mannequin? Thank you, my friend. You know, I didn't go to mannequin college. I don't have a lot of mannequin hours, but I feel like I'm ready to be a mannequin, so if you see me, you need someone to model your spring 2019 attire, hit your boy Bran up. Walking through Koreatown, Marty Mush here, and I found something weird. Got a little nail designs, get the cuticles cut, 
and let's get this going here. Oh my god. Oh. You had to have all ten fingers? Wait. Am I missing the language here? All right, so we're here. We're doing the Whoa, That's Weird Challenge. I do a little pretty fucking weird thing of my own. Got my own little side biz. It's called Big L Silent Disco. So what we're going to do right now, I got my boys right here. We got Jake the Rake. We got Hot Sean. And we're going to see how big of a dance party we can start in Times Square. I want to be a part of it. Oh. New York. Was my Donny Does video? Whoa, that's weird. Times Square dance party. Pretty weird, huh? We had a good time. Make some noise if you had some fun today. All right, it's uh, Joe Romano, aka Joe Biggs, aka evidently Joey Boats, aka the Buzzsaw, aka the Human Backdoor Cover, coming to you live in front of the Museum of Sex. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to even get into this place. It looks kind of small. I don't know if they allow cameras. There's red ropes. That's never a good sign. We're gonna go find out. I mean, this is dope, dude. Let's get the fuck out of the titty bounce house, dude. All right, we're outside of the um, the Museum of Sex. It's within rock throwing distance of Barnstall headquarters. My buddy was like, you should go down to the porn museum. And I'm like, well, where the hell is the porn museum? Turns out, like I said, right down the street. So we did it. I'm about to go on, I think, and do stand up. I'm about to completely bomb. Um, this might be the last video you see of me. If that's the case. That's the case. Just cheer, clap, laugh, do what you got to do. Thank you. All right, guys, what's up? It's Ohio's Tate. Here in the Big Apple, Times Square. A little different scenery for me, so I'm gonna walk around, see what's different, see what's the same. So when I was getting ready to come to the Big Apple, everyone was like, Tate, New York subway this, New York subway that. You've never seen anything like the New York subway. Looks like the same darn, same darn subway I've seen in Ohio a million times. People say that New York has bad drivers. I found one here with me. This is my dude, what's your name? Javon. Javon, he drives for FedEx. Just got in a little bit of an accident, and all of his stuff fell out of the back of his truck here. Javon, can you just take me play by play what happened? Hey, man, just being honest, man. I was driving, you know, road was clear. All of a sudden, I seen a fine-ass girl walk by, man, and <laughs> I couldn't control myself, man. I looked, and next thing you know, everything was all over the place, man. What's going on here? In Cleveland, we call this dinner, and they spilled it all over the floor and just left it here. Donnie, what do you think about that? Whoa. Whoa, that's weird. Verna, and this is Whoa, That's Weird, my version. We're in Manhattan, New York, and we're not going to the weird. We're letting the weird come to us. We're going to give out candy and try to meet some friends on this hardcore city. Let's go, buddy. Want to get jolly? No. Fucking dickheads. Come here now. No, come here, come here. I couldn't find any friends. Nobody wants my fucking candy. Apparently, the candy was for funerals, so they didn't like, I was trying to give out candy all day, and I find out halfway through the day that it's funeral candy, Chinese funeral candy. Walking around trying to give out funeral candy. Goddamn dumbass. I had a tough week. The mush has been real. I'm on my last 20 bucks right now, and I got a little Chinese backer at. I gotta freaking figure this out. I gotta go find some people, win my money back, pay the rent, pay the bookie, no more vacation. Let's do this. Sevens, right here. Fuck, man. There you go, man. I just fucking lost. I'm trying to pay rent here. I'm trying to get back to you. I'll give you my belt instead. I mean, I, I need, I need some clubs in here, bro. Here. Take the belt. I, wait, let me get the rest. Wait. Take, take the. This is Ref Daddy Volume Three. NBA Street Edition. <laughs> yeah! Doc! Three time out. Alright, she's dead. Here we are at the garden, but I'm gonna show you a live trick. I keep this badge with me at all times, and we're gonna test it and try to get in places that we're not supposed to, because that's where the fun happens. Slight adjustment, I take it back. This thing doesn't work worth a shit when you have a full camera crew with you. <laughs> we got kicked out everywhere. Hello everybody, it's Barstool Idol, day three. Uh, the Michigan Man Meltdown is still the hot topic of conversation of the day. We're gonna ask some people in the park 
if they think what he did yesterday was crazy, or was it just totally normal activity to occur in an office? Have you ever cried in the office before? Yes, I like being emotional. Me too. Want to hug it out? I would go to the bathroom and let it all in the bathroom because it's too soon. They don't know you yet. They might think you're unstable. Yeah, you definitely might be <laughs> unstable, right? <laughs> well, it's pizza review. It's my one and a half minutes of content. We are at Two Bros. Uh, it's a dollar pizza place. I believe Prez gave this a 5.9. It is at 24th, uh, 25th seat, uh, Street and 6th Ave. So we're going to give this a slice right now. Do I got to say the one bite thing? That's his thing, though. I'm not going to take his thing. If you are a fan of passion, if you are a fan of sex, of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, then you are a fan of this pizza. If you are a fan of genocide, if you are a fan of the evacuation of the Native Americans, of hidden fees, then you are not a fan of this pizza. Now, if you are not a fan of this pizza and you consider yourself to be the breathing embodiment of intellectual fortitude, then let me tell you, the formal education system that we have instituted within the confines of this remarkable nation has failed you miserably. This is sensational pizza. This is terrific pizza. This is awe-inspiring pizza. This pizza is about a seven. It's not that great. Kind of overstated at the beginning. And I know what everybody's going to say. Oh, it's a seven. It's a rookie score. No, listen, I flirted with a seven and one. I flirted with a six, nine. Sup, ladies. I ended up landing on a seven because I'm a man of integrity. Joey Boats, Boats afloat. We're up. All right. So first ever Tate of the Union. Um, I was going to save this till Friday. A little trick up my sleeve. But I can't. I can't. I have to break the news. I'm a journalist on Friday. I'm a soon-to-be journalist. I have to tell you guys. The Michigan kid has been broke. The cry I'm not going to mention him because my mom asked me not to. I'm not going to talk about that he's a crybaby. I'm not going to talk about that he's a possible psychopath. But he has been broke, and I'm telling you, he's out of here. He was just sitting downstairs, and he came up, and he said, hey, it's been nice knowing you. Just know that we're always live. Another win for Ohio State over Michigan. Um, that's now seven in a row. So. Sweet. It's hard. Hard. Sweet. Sweet. Coconut. Coconut. Sour. Sour. I taste pleasure. Pleasurable because it's Chinese. This an ad for like a porno or something? No, it's Chinese. Oh yeah, that's what he said. No, that's so weird. Marty Mush, you're gonna be up first. For whatever reason, they picked you to be first. It's uh, showtime. I mean, that guy really stole my belt, though. That's no joke. Like, he actually stole. He's like, I'm not giving it back, guy. But so if I keep going like this, it's on me. Is the fly open on purpose? Yes. <laughs> that just threw me for a loop. I have no idea. But I've turned on the mush. Like, I've been trying to get out of it, get into other things. I'm a big massage parlor guy now. Start off nice. It's like a Chinese fucking New Year when you walk in. It's go fang fang, and it's wild. But they treat you like shit when you're in there. They honestly told me I have uneven nipples. And all of a sudden she goes, can you bend down for a sec? Yeah, let me take off my socks. And she starts crying, crying my ass. I said, you gotta get the fuck out of there, Mary. And she had her saggy tip down to her knee and just going like this and washed me up. I let it play out, but it worked out. All right. I it thought is, that was pretty funny. It, not not for the like right reasons yeah, necessarily. I had no idea what you were talking about from start to finish. None of it made any sense. <laughs> when you said things like come bandit and I started laughing. So I appreciate yeah. that. You actually are weird because I would have like hit my button. Yeah, but it's like but he was I didn't even know yeah. where the punch I will was say from. that I couldn't figure out where the punchline yeah. was. I was like, <laughs> where is the joke that fails? There was just it was just I don't know what happens. All right. Uh John, Joe Romano. <laughs> Thanks for the applause. Uh, so my name is Joe. As, uh, some of you guys may know me better as inbred Robert De Niro. Um, so I was once featured on Mass Most Wanted. It all started back, uh, I think it was freshman year of high school. A couple of my buddies and I went to uh, the local mall, and my buddy threw a two-liter bottle of Pepsi on the roof. The mall cop saw it, came over, kicked us out of the mall. You can't go back there for a year. Can't go back, you're kicked out. 
Uh, about two weeks later, probably we went back, uh, I'm walking to the mall, and I make eye contact with the woman that kicked us out, the mall cop, whatever. She turns around, and I call my buddy. I turn back around, there is uh, two mall cops and three local police officers trailing me. So I'm like, okay, something's up. Like, Shit, I gotta do something about this. So I get to the entrance of J.C. Penney, take the governor off, and just blow through J.C. Penney. Probably the fastest anybody's ever ran through a J.C. Penney. So I go back in the uh, cop car. 30 minutes later, he pulls me out, uncuffs me, and I start asking him, I said, what did you guys think I did? And he was like, well, you look like somebody your mass most wanted. And I was like, well, that's not me. And then one cop was like, so why'd you run? I was like, I'm banned from the mall. So he's like, it's, like, it's, like, it's a $200 fine. <laughs> What I like about you and what I've liked consistently about you is I think you're kind of very casual and fit in with our style of talk. You had a punchline in there that I thought was tremendous, which was the a band from the mall misdirect. Everybody in here laughed uh, for the first time. That was the <laughs> first time that everyone has actually laughed out loud. And uh, it was a great story. So, I mean, I'm impressed, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we are on to the condition. Uh, so let's see what he's got. So last weekend, I just encountered my first blowjob. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. It tasted nasty. I don't know why everybody was sucked in. <laughs> so Tinder is like a video game. If you press the right buttons at the right time, you get a reward at the end. And if not, there's always a restart button. Now see. I'm not very good at talking to girls, so I use Tinder a lot. Because when I see a girl, I just act up and I get stage fright. Which is a bad thing, because with my condition, I can just look at a girl, and if I'm staring at her tits, and she catches me, I go, oh! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm <a> so <laughs> Just look at it! <laughs> I said, I can't, I can't lose with this thing. <laughs> it's the greatest thing. Shout out to God. <laughs> I'd cheat the hell with him when he did. But, <laughs> thank you. No, that was yeah. good. No, was good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that uh, the first time you've done stand-up? No. No, obviously oh, no. no. Yeah. I guess that's another question. Should, should have said, said yes. Should have said yes. I guess that's a dumb question because you're pretty comfortable. But that was great. That was very funny. Yeah, I, I love the swag you had when you got your first laugh and then just tossed off the uh, the top of your the top of your costume. That was that was a smooth move. Uh, so Rocky, uh, let's watch what we got with Rocky. Uh, Marty Mush is here, <laughs> which is something Long Island strippers are warned of before every shift. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, sorry, you play the ukulele uh, almost as well as you play the bizarro version of KFC. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. uh, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it not dark, so I'm just gonna, you know. No, go dark. Go dark. Go, go dark. dark. Go yeah. harder. Go Are you okay? Austin told me uh, last night that you were surprised that I wasn't eliminated. Um, <laughs> that's also what his doctor said when he was born. <laughs> <laughs> That's just bullying. That's just bullying. That's like... <laughs> um, this is a really funny joke. I'm glad you did. For us, like, the, the unwillingness to go hard, like, is not. The only thing that spooked me was Big Cat said before uh, Mario <laughs> went up, he was like, just as long as you don't say anything too offensive, like, you know, we'll see. I think that soft, hard sort of hesitation is a very easy fix. Like, it would be very easy to just tell you do not hold back, and then you won't be as timid about stuff like that. We have the luxury at Barstool that Dave has set a bar for the rest of us, and as long as we're oh. right under it, we're like, okay. Other than that, I thought it was good, and it's actually making this whole thing quite tough as we go along. Yeah, yeah. Um, all of you. Yeah, Tate, Ohio. <laughs> All right, guys, when I heard we had to do stand-up tonight, everyone that we're with knows that I was absolutely freaking out uh, because I've never done it. Um, I only do stand-up for one thing, and that's the American flag. 
Uh, yikes. Uh, <laughs> if this is not good, I'm just going to start crying. <laughs> yeah, so this isn't going to be good, but I feel like that's okay because stand-up is literally nothing like what Barstool does. Um, pretty easy challenge for the stand-up comedian Brant, though. I hope tomorrow our challenge is to coach girls basketball and teach middle schoolers how to read. Um, now, since I'm a Clevelander, a lot of people have been asking me uh, what's going to replace like the banner um, that LeBron came down because on the famous building in downtown Cleveland. Don't worry, I've already contracted it out to Youngstown Bob and his crew. I really suck at this. Um, you do. Yeah. You yeah. Do. So in, yeah. The, in, I mean, in that's... the interest of time, let's move on because you're already not going to win points no. doing this. You're yes. because now we're on time. Uh, people always ask me what made me want to be a comedian. I was sitting around my house one day, I decided to write some goals. These are my goals. I want to be super rich, I want to have my own TV show, and I want to date a lot of hot women. So I sat and thought, who's done that? And then it hit me, Ellen. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres, I'm gonna be the next great lesbian comedian. <laughs> I wish I had a big dick, Zai, you got a big dick, right, my man? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. You wear magnums, right? For sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. This is what I was thinking about though the other day. All my black friends wear magnums, but all my black friends have kids, so I don't know if magnums are working too good. <laughs> <laughs> like you should try like a glad trash bag or something. <laughs> it's so ironic that their sperm are such great swimmers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wrap it up. I know we're short on time. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Dylan's first. last one. So I'm going to play a song for you guys, obviously. I'm just going to jump right into it. It's, uh, I'm just, I probably won't even use the mic. Uh, it's based on a story uh, about a friend of mine who a lot of us could probably relate to working in a corporate life type job and stuff like that. Uh, he hated it so much, he was fed up one day, wound up quitting his job. There was one thing that really kept his day going, so it's a song about the story of this, my friend here. Summer working here in NYC, corporate America had its shackles on me. Why'd I go into finance? I hate that place. Todd always putting baby pictures in my face. I'd fill up my water even if it was filled. Candy crush on the toilet said that's my best skill. Now I've hemorrhoids from fake pooping so long. Todd, you fix the spreadsheets if you think they're wrong. A little Jimmy had T-ball and got a hit. Why do you mistake me for someone? Shit, fuck. We're going still. Oh, we're moving. I had this one thing, guys. I had this one thing. I had this one thing. She'd get me through my day. Oh, she turned me on. I know that's a little risque. Not even Todd that dick could ruin it. I'll tell you my secret, I just have to admit that. Shake Shack in the park, my god, my light, my queen. I'm sad when we're apart, I need your meat inside of me. Yes, yeah, Shake Shack in the park. Shake Shack in the park. There's a teepee in my pants, you can cut me if you want. I'm fucking done, this really sucks. <laughs> I feel like you should be on Broadway, maybe not like Barstool. <laughs> like, honestly, it feels like I'm watching a Broadway play mm -hmm. that. We have to review Brant and him. Yeah. We haven't done that yet. Yeah, I know. I mean, we can do it quick. Uh, the Brant, the stand up was good. I mean, you're a stand up comedian. Uh, the skit, it's weird. I, you, again, you may not be a fit for us because stand up's your what clearly you excel at and we're not a stand-up place even though we're doing stand-up and then who's in <laughs> Tate horrible uh I, clearly it's not your skill set so I don't know that I judge it um by that this is not something clearly you do so no but I would say that like uh I don't think uh a few people do stand up like Fair. Rocky didn't mm -hmm. and he still made me Fair laugh point. and so did this guy he told a story he's never done stand-up and I, so I was in yeah I mean, I think that, that's an interesting thing. Uh, Brant, I didn't, I didn't think the uh, skit was like it didn't blow me away. Um, and then Tate, I, 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 the problem I have with what I've seen from you, Tate, is that everything you've done has been a like 
involve barstool and barstool inside jokes and that like we already have that so we don't need more of that would you guys rather Understand? a question right now for you guys because we could probably huddle for like five minutes and yep. figure this yeah. out would you rather that now yes, yes all right definitely. okay all right. all right so um, let's uh i i can say let's just go down the road we'll just do it quick mantis is safe in my Man mind mantis is safe mush safe, mush yes. safe. Yeah. those are the two Clear and to me. I also me. think, uh, yeah. what's his I name? I would say Rocky's safe. Rocky's safe. Rocky's I really, I really Is like Rocky it. even here? Oh, yeah. he's right Rocky's there. Rocky's performance <laughs> and video game. Okay. Yeah. I like so, the roast. That was impressive. Okay. okay. So then you get three. Those are guaranteed safe. And then we got four, mm -hmm. and we got to get rid of two of them. In terms of originality, I thought he was the most, like, different. Yeah, so if we're, so we're getting rid of two yep. out of these four. Yep. So I would make him safe as well. Ukulele. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm fine with that. So, so it's three. two out of three. I would, I'm gonna go the hard way. I don't think Brant's a fit for us. I think he's I'd a agree. stand up guy, but we don't do stand up. I'd agree. I would, my vote would be to, for the contest, Tate and Brant, both, again, does not mean like I'm very. I think your writing has been really good. I'd yeah. like to sit on my couch and. and okay, so yeah, that's, so yeah, that's, yeah, all right. that's so right. 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 Our answer when people you never know. Be you shouldn't be somewhere you're not. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't be somewhere you're not. Mush, mush, <laughs> condition, condition. <laughs> Dylan, <laughs> Joe, the condition. What's up, dude? And ukulele. And uh, Rocky. And, and yeah. Rocky. Yeah. You Wait. five to tomorrow. Continue. We're good. Yes. Yeah. Good. Let's. All right. Let's wrap it. Good lord.